All right, so a lot of you guys have been bombarding me on Facebook with messages on how do I remix a song with vocals on top of it? My vocals are not in sync, they go off beat completely. How do I start off a song? Do I write the lyrics first or do I make the music first? Just a bunch of these questions, but no real answers. So today I'm gonna show you how to really make a remix with your vocals and they're gonna be 100% in sync if you follow the techniques I show you right now. So without further ado, let's dive into the project and let me show you how to sync up your vocals with your uh, project tempo. Okay, so for this example, I have two tracks. I have the vocal and then I have the basic chord pattern here. So if we take a listen, this is Steve Voids and No Mondays chemistry track. I made a remix on it if you have the time, then go check it out in the description. So this is the vocal initially. You got all the numbers to gamble. You have all the options to play. And if you're wondering how I got these two files, the raw vocal and the chords, well, it's a remix competition on Vavo, so you can check it out and you can download those very stems down in the description again. So enter the contest and you can maybe compete with me or something. Uh, but yeah, these, that's one of the ways I got the raw vocals and it's super legitimate. I did not, you know, get the vocals from any sort of third party website. So everything's legal and uh, I should not get a copyright strike for this. But anyway, we got your know, two tracks. And the first thing you wanna to do to match up your vocal with the project tempo is to figure out the tempo of the vocal itself. So the reason being why I had two tracks is to compare the two BPMs and see the differences. So for example, if we detect the tempo of the vocal here, so let's just choose an approximate 75 to 150, for example, right here and right here, FO is going to detect the tempo of your vocal. It's gonna take a little bit of time and uh, we should find out the tempo very soon. All right, cool, so FL says that the project tempo is 128, 358. So if we click yes, then the whole project tempo will switch to that BPM. But we don't want that for now, so we just click no. And then now let's detect the tempo of our chord pattern here. So let's go to 7550 again, and let's wait a little notch. All right, now we have a complete different number. We have 127. Now you might be wondering, why do we have two different tempos? Well, a vocal track and a chord track in this case is a completely different thing, you know what I mean? So if you have just a solid kick hitting all the time like this, for example, it's obviously going to be easy to detect the tempo. But when you have a vocal like this, you got all the numbers that kind of goes all over the place, it's going to be harder for the DAW to detect the tempo. So in some cases, it might not be 100% accurate. In this case, it wasn't because I know that the tempo of the song is 127. So let's switch that to 127. And the next step would be is to line up these two tracks onto the grid perfectly so we can easily put in our beat and it's going to be in sync, so check it out. So what I like to do is I just like to find the first note of the chord here. In your case, it might be a completely different track here. You might have a full song here, which I highly recommend. Just have the full finished song on the bottom and your raw vocals on the top. It's gonna be super easy to detect the tempo and match it up with the grid. And the grid I mean by these right here. So we have one, two, three, four. On the fifth bar, I'm just going to line it up. So I'm going to take the slice tool and just cut it up like that. I know that it cut the vocal a tiny notch there, but we can adjust it later on. But anyways, let's just zoom in just like that. And uh, let's enable these both. And we can go to snap to grid and choose none. So we have the freedom to move these two tracks easily and we can now kind of match it up to the grid. So this is the first chord and I can put it to the grid like that. And if you're a little bit skeptical, if it's perfect on grid, then just go a little bit further onto the track and you'll see that the notes are still lining up. 
as you can see. And uh, if your tempo is incorrect, then the notes should slowly but surely go off grid from time to time on the track. So that's one way to figure out if you have the correct project tempo or not. So we got that going on. It's perfectly on the grid, the vocals on the grid and the chords on the grid. We can go to main now and uh, just zoom in a tiny notch and we can control left click and extend that and pretty much use it in our remix. And uh, now if we just take out our kick, for example, we can just put it on the bottom of these two tracks and it should be perfectly in sync. Check it out. You got all the numbers to gamble. You have all the options to play. That's As you can see, this method works and that's how usually I sync up my vocals with the project. So another question is how do we change the project tempo while maintaining everything in sync on beat? Uh, with the whole project. So check it out. If we adjust the tempo now, you'll see that the whole vocal will just shift and it won't be in sync anymore. As you can see, and that's a really easy fix. There's two ways to do it. I'm going to show you the first way. First way is you can just click right here. If you don't have FL Studio 12.3, then use this method. But if you do have FL Studio 12.3, then I'm gonna show another method later on, which is much more easier. So you just click fit to tempo, just 127 project. And I'm not going to do it with the chords right now. So you just see the reference. And now if we adjust it, you'll see that the vocal stays in place, but the chords are shifting. So look, I changed it to 100 and you'll see that the vocals are completely on beat. You That's one of the ways to sync it up if you don't have 12.3, okay? So if you have episode 12.3, you can easily go to tools, macros, and just click switch real time stretching for all auto clips and you choose okay. And now you'll see that both of these tracks are not moving. So it pretty much did the same thing that I did here. But think about it, if you have like a 20, 30 tracks that you want to sync up with your project template, then it's going to be kind of time consuming if you do try this method, the first method that I showed you. So just use the tools macros method if you have 12.3 FL Studio. All right, so another question is how do we, for example, match up as another sample or loop? So for example, we just have this little drum loop here. you will see that it's a completely whole different tempo than the project tempo. So I'm just switch that to 115 for fun. And you'll see as I switch the tempo, the sloop kind of moves around while all of these don't, they are just stuck in one position. So how do we do that? Well, same thing, we basically just detect the tempo just for fun. You don't really have to do it, but I just want to show you what the tempo of this loop is. So it's 85 almost, so let's click no. And we can do the same thing, fit to tempo, or we can do the macro method, but this time we're just going to fit to tempo, 115, and double click it. And from here, you can either just adjust the stretch here, like that, and now it should be in sync. And you can mess with the different modes. It's going to give a different feel every time you switch it. So I just like to keep it on stretch. And uh, let's just reset that. And I'm going to show you a second method as well. You can go to stretch over here and you can manually stretch it. But with this method, as you can see, it's pretty much in sync. But it goes off beat from time to time, like I told you about a couple of minutes ago. So to fix that, you just zoom in a little bit and make sure that the sample is perfectly on the grid. In this case, it's not. So I'll just go to none, stretch that out like that. And now it should be on every single beat. From here, we can just turn off stretching and manipulate the sample however we like.
and if we play everything together, everything should be on beat. You got all the numbers to gamble. You have all the options to play. So that's pretty much how you sync up your vocals or any other loop with your project tempo. You can slow it down, you can turn it up, whatever. So that's a really, really simple method that everyone can do in their DAW and hopefully it's gonna help you out a lot and you can finally make your remixes with vocals because you know how to sync it up with your beat. So that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it informative and uh, see you in the next one guys. Peace.